What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're working on the tractor again. Um, what we're going to do before we start this next project, give you a little sneak peek of what we've done so far. The project is about 95% complete as far as the fabrication goes. Got the bucket done in the last video. I don't think we showed you guys what it looked like when it was all kind of put together and locked up a little bit. So that's it right there. So far, we have counted, we have added up, we have about 52 hours into this right here. Cutting, welding, grinding, everything. About 52 hours, I'd say we probably have what? Maybe another 40 to go? Probably, yeah. We have still quite a bit of time uh, to do this. So that's, that's it right there. So what we're gonna do for this project today, we're gonna get this little uh, rack that I made. We're gonna take that off of there, take them center blocks off. We're gonna mount the frame. We're gonna get that solid on there uh, so it can support all this weight. It's about, kind of estimated, right around 400 pounds is what it weighs uh, once you put the cylinders and everything else on it. So that's what we're doing today. So let's knock it out. So now we're going to go over here, we're going to disassemble this backhoe so we can get the frame. Then we're going to kind of jack it up, try and lift it up on, on here and see exactly where we need to go with it. So let's get that thing tore apart. Yeah, bottom, from bottom yeah right at five to the very bottom. So our concerns is right now is when the tractor takes an incline, we've got the sloop pivots. When the tractor starts going up a hill, this end's gonna to wanna to dig in. So we gotta get a measurement so when this is taking an incline that we're not gouging into the ground. But right now we're five and a half inches. I think we're six inches out from the actual back frame of the tractor. Yeah, another six, I think. I think six is gonna do it. It looks pretty good. But then at the same time, when we're doing all this measurements, we have to worry about the operator on comfortability, being able to be on maybe on it for hours, looking at a time. Yeah, it looks like we're far enough away from the, uh, the back tires. That looks pretty good. And still be able to take those pins out if we ever want to take the backhoe off. Um, it's just going to be held in by three-quarter inch pins right there. So <clears throat> we still have space that we can go in there, knock them out, and drop the backhoe off if we want to. So as far as that goes, that looks good. Uh, we'll flip the seat around again and just kind of get a get an idea. We're we're definitely going to have to raise the seat up quite a bit, you know, once we get a new seat because that that one's about had it for a couple of years. But that's about where you're gonna where you're gonna be looking right now until we can jack that seat up. So right where his hands are is going to be the levers. We've already kind of mocked it up before. That's about where the lever, levers are going to be so we can dig. It, is, it does feel like a good height though. I mean, having your arms sitting right here and your legs and be able to actually be able to... Yeah, it does. Hit the six levers and 
arms and everything. Yeah, just use your knees as yeah, as, as supports. Range. I like. I, I think it's a good height. Yeah. So five and a half. Now we're at five inches. Is what the bottom of the sloop pivot is. So five inches, right there. So yeah. Sorry, that's probably going to be a little loud. So yeah, five inches. I like that. Hopefully, with these lug tires here. Just driving around won't sink it too much. But as far as incline, I'm, I'm not really planning on going up a, a huge incline with it. I mean, it's probably going to be a little top heavy, which we'll find out pretty quick, I'm sure. We'll let you know what we feel like, like in this five inches. Like I said, we'll, we'll let you know when it gets towards the end of the video if this ain't going to cut it because we're going to test it out once the frame gets on here. If you guys have any comments, maybe somebody's already made one. Yeah, you'd be like, hey, five inches ain't good. You know, drop it in the comments. Let us know. Like I said, it's something that can be adjusted later on down the road, so it can easily be, so. All right, so we're going to get back to work. Getting that thing mounted doesn't look like as, as easy as, as uh, we were thinking. No. So. It should be fun. Thanks so far. That took entirely too long. What was that about six hours? Yeah. Just trying to get the bottom mount. We don't even have the top mount yet. But it's on. But it is on. It's not going anywhere. Height looks pretty good. I will have to raise the seat up a little bit. I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. Definitely getting a new seat. Don't know if it's going to be any higher or not. Because right here. Man, this kind of feels like you're just uh, relaxing in your lazy boy. You don't look too awkward in it. Knees are not in your, really in your chest. It, 
it may look awkward to some people, but this <laughs> thing is actually really comfortable. Sitting right here, especially when you find a seat that leans back. Yeah. I feel like one of those kids at the playground on the little digging machine. Well, all that matters is it's on. At least partial way. Oh, that sun is just jacking with the cameras. Yeah, so we still have to mount the top. Right now we got the bottom mounted. Bottom is what's going to take most of the weight. Actually, probably all of it. Oh, yeah. So, my welds are not as pretty as they should be, but there's enough of them that we're not going to have any problems. I <laughs> promise you that. I went through probably three pounds of wire just to freaking weld that. Well... Guess what time it is. I guess we're gonna have to worry about the top one later, aren't we? Yep. Have to finish it tomorrow. And he missed. Here, let me do it for him. <laughs> Alright, so we finished our mount. Uh, this is day two of the mount here. So what we did, as you can tell, we did not follow blueprints. It is all conglomerated mess right here that we use all the kinds of scrap that we had left over just to do this mount. The mount that he sends is for the Cub Cadet 149. Of course, this is John Deere. doesn't fit anywhere close to the same. We didn't even try to build, build it uh, just because the plans were a little different. But this thing right here is as strong as you can get. My welds on here look like crap, and I know it. Um, but there's enough of them on there. I think it should hold. So what we did, we took these two pieces of the C-channel. We would used that. Uh, that was our... Uh, welding table build that we had. We had this left over, so we welded them back to back so that they would fit uh, on the frame. That's the bottom piece that's going to hold the entire weight. The top pieces that we just, that's hot, that, <laughs> that we just finished about 10 minutes ago is going to hold the weight from tipping back and forth. So there's not a whole lot of pressure on that, mostly on the bottom there. So that's it. That is our conglomerated uh, mount that we have. So now we're going to hook it up, put the wheels and tires back on. Yeah. And see how much it holds. See if it breaks. It's definitely a lot beefier than what was on the blueprint. Yeah, but all this mount has to do is support the weight of the backhoe. None of the digging action, just the weight. So, 400 pounds, roughly, give or take. So let's throw the wheels back on, put this back on there, and show you what it looks like.